Hey Capricorns! So I am Iron Turtle. Welcome to Balmy Spirit. This is going to be your monthly intuitive messages for Capricorn. Whether it's Cappy season, you got Cappy in your chart, or you just came here because you wanted to and you felt like it. Welcome! If you're resonating with this, you can always dive into part two, which is on Patreon and Vimeo. Links are below for your convenience. We also have links for the 2024 astrology calendar and moon calendar. There are sister calendars. Um, also check out the website for events and updates and things of that nature. Okay. All right, Pappies. I want to go ahead and get into this for you. Oh, excuse me. Fruit from the tree. <laughs> you must be in harvest season. Maybe we're going to get the seven of pentacles for you. Um, and lemons very specifically. I don't know. Maybe you're working a lemon tree. <laughs> or lemons could be really good for you right now. Citrus could be really good for you right now. I feel like that's actually about giving you life. I feel like that's about like like a detox or like a cleaning and like ah, like bringing the sun back into your body. Interesting, yeah, and bringing the sun back into your body. There's something about fruit from the tree, fruit from the tree, fruit from the tree. We'll see how that wants to come through in a bit, in a bit. Oh, lots, okay, lots of stuff now coming through for you. I'm getting a lot of animals, bear, fish, deer, like very foresty anim animals coming through here. Hawk is definitely coming through. Vulture is coming through too. Okay, Cappies, what's going on? It's it's interesting because it's like, it almost feels like your field is busy. You could be very busy. You could be getting a lot like very bombarded by people or just like external energies. But I'm trying to just get to you. I want to just get into Cappy. Come on, Cappy, sit with me. <laughs> sit with me. You're having trouble rooting. Some of you could have been going through some ancestral stuff recently. I just got pulled to your roots. It, like I feel, I feel like it's gonna sound weird, but it's just I just have to call a spade a spade. I feel like I'm talking to a tree that ha doesn't have their roots planted. Like doesn't have their roots. They're not rooting. The roots are not rooting. Some of you have been. Um, some you gotta thank you. You gotta till the soil. <laughs> I don't know who I'm reading for. A lot of gardening stuff coming through here. Till your soil, Capricorn. Some of you need to till your soil. To be honest, I don't even know what till in the soil means. Overturning it. They said overturning. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, almost like you got to work your environment. You got to work what you're rooting, trying to root yourself into. Some of you could be rushing to root yourself into a situation. Please take these metaphors as they resonate because this is very like, I'm speaking in symbols basically. Um, this could be about a relationship, a job, a lifestyle, a, a, a goal, a project. It could be literally trying to get into a home. Um, could be literally about trying to get pregnant. Um, you got to till the soil. You got to till your soil. Overturn it, get it ready, get it prepped to actually root anything in there. Is your soil even viable? If this is about pregnancy, I would definitely say this is about your health. Okay, your health, like the state of your womb, like what is the state of your womb on a in, on a physiological level and an emotional one, an energetic one? What is the state of your soil, Cappies? And some of you, if it, this is about like like relationships, is it interesting? I wanted to say, is it even time? Is it even the right harvest? <laughs> Is it even the right season to be rooting that relationship? Oh, that's so interesting. Oh, this is coming through. Is it even the right even is it even the right time to root that relationship? Is it too soon? Is it too late? A lot of gardening symbology here, Cappies. A lot of gardening. A lot of gardening. So, okay, I, I don't want to get lost in this because we could just honestly I could feel it. We could just keep going. I just keep seeing tree roots that can't root in the ground. Is what, I, is what I keep getting for you, okay? Um, some of you, this is literally about like where you're trying to root, um, who you're trying to root with or what you're trying to root and if this if the circumstances are even viable for it. Interesting. Oh, Cappies. Why do I feel like that is gonna overwhelm my Capricorns? They're bringing up the lemons again. Lemons are really good for cleansing, purifying, cleaning. And that could also help you till your own soil. I think that's what tilling is. 444 and I looked up at the camera. Again, I don't I, I don't have a garden. I can't tell you. It's just what's coming through. Um, especially if it's more like on a health level to almost like reset yourself. Like reset the soil, reset you, reset. Okay. Using the spell casting deck to start. 
Any messages or insights from my Capricorn? Because they keep showing me lemons. <laughs> They're not moving off the lemons. Mmm. Why does this feel yummy? Confidence. Confidence. Is that why you can't root? Something about the confidence feels off. Like you're just gaining it or you have too much. That's very, it's a lot of, okay, this is like very Goldilocks on a situation. Is it the right time? Is it too early? Is it too late? Is it too little? Is it too much? It's like you're Goldilocks right now. <laughs> Try it just right. Try it just right, Capricorns. That's so weird. That's what I keep getting with the confidence with you. It's like some of you are confident. You need almost more confidence to truly root something to know how to root something properly. And some of you are actually almost getting carried away with it where maybe you're actually not being realistic and practical about what you're doing and what you're planning and what you're working with here. Um, so take it as it resonates. Anything else for my Capricorns? Mm, mm-hmm. Psychic abilities and truth. Whatever you're dealing with, Capricorn, there seems to be a sensitive timing, temperate sort of vibe with whatever it is you're trying to root, whatever it is you're trying to plant, whatever it is you're trying to seed. I'm just, try I'm just, I just, I can't stop feeling it. Sorry, I was getting caught up in it. And so psychic abilities and truth coming out here this is the way you're going to want to navigate, okay? It's interesting because Leo had like the head versus the heart. For you, it's actually relying more on your own intuition and instincts. Like not getting too logical about it for sure and not getting too overly confident either. It's like, that's not where you want to pull your, your power from here. You're knowing, thank you. That's not where you want to pull your decision-making and knowing from. It, it really should be coming from your instincts, what does it feel like to you? Can you can you feel it? Well, also, if you're like a sacral authority in human design, right? Like, what does it feel like to you? Can you see it? Interesting, I just heard, can you hear it? That's interesting. I don't know what that's about. Can you hear it? You, whoever that's for, you'll know. You're probably having a lot of clear audience stuff going on right now. But this is really the key. That is really the key. I keep getting pulled back to this whole soil imagery and like symbolism. I keep feeling like the soil is like, it's you. <laughs> like the state of your soil is more about this internal state of you and your emotional being. Like the whole example that I gave with the pregnancy, right? It's like, where are you emotionally in your womb? Where are you emotionally in your solar? Are you even really truly ready to root what you're trying to root? Oh, are you even truly ready for it? Or is there something within you that needs to be calibrated in the emotional way or in your way of confidence, belief in self in order to be ready for this? The truth feels like the answer of ready, yes or no. But you gotta check your soil, which again is you. That is you and that is your environment. Because no matter what we're trying to like create in our reality, no matter what we're working with in our reality, it all is rooted in something, which is really just us, right? A relationship, we, we gotta be rooted in ourselves to really have a healthy relationship. Um, the, the perfect, not perfect, I don't wanna use the word perfect, but the dream job, right? Can you handle your dream job emotionally if you're not rooted in yourself? right? You got to be honest with yourself. You got to really feel this out, Cappies. Are you ready to root what you're trying to root and get to the fruits of your labor? Are you ready for what that actually is and what that means? Or is something in you still not ready? Is something in you running into, oh, I just got dizzy. Whew, that was a big download. Or is something in you running scared? Is something in you running scared and your soil's not not fruitful enough? Your soil's not moist enough. It's like it's like, yeah. This is about getting the state of you just right 
before you really try to root something or invest in something or deepen something or go for something. Very interesting. Let's see if any other ones wanna come out. Mm -hmm. I knew I felt fear. We have protection. I do like this card. Normally this card comes out, it indicates that you are safe and you're good and everything is going to work out just fine. But I feel like this card came out to actually indicate that you feel like you need this. A part of you is scared of whatever you're trying to root, whatever it is you're trying to make happen or solidify or deepen or invest in. It feels pretty big, Cappies. Whatever this is, it feels pretty big, okay? A big part of you is ready, but some part of you still doesn't feel quite ready. Some part of you still feels a little <laughs> Overall, we have well-being, making it make sense. Interesting, we have financial health on the bottom there. Some of you could be worried about the financial um, repercussions of whatever this is that you're trying to root or invest in or deepen, strengthen. Some of you, it feels risky. Some of you, it definitely feels risky. Like you're actually going to be risking your, your way of life or your financial situation or your health. It's not about, is it the right choice? It's really about where are you at, it, at with it emotionally. And emotionally, if you feel truly ready, not talking yourself into it, if you truly feel ready, then your soil is ready. But if you're not, work that soil, baby. <laughs> work this. Okay. All right, let's pull some animals. Oh, when I say animals, sorry, I'm just in it. <laughs> it's a, the deck is called the wild unknown animal spirit deck. Can I get a card for confidence? Oh, interesting. Leo had the hawk come out too. Hawk comes out when we're being spiritually guided and led here. So spirit's trying to get your attention to where you're at with this emotionally. Is your soil ready or is it not? Meaning, are you truly emotionally ready or not? Because this is also something I'm getting to. It's like, if the soil's not right, your tree's going to die. If the soil ain't right, if you are not emotionally ready, this is not going to work out. You got to be ready to handle this. You got to be ready to, to nourish the tree, to carry the tree, hold the tree, maintain the tree, all the things. And once you start, it also has that feeling too, like there's no going back. Okay. I'm not trying to put pressure on you. It's just, it is what it is. And I, to be honest, I think that almost needs to be said because I think some of you like, you know, in true copy fashion, just doing it, just talking through, just talking through, just talking through, but like, no, are you actually ready, right? It's important to acknowledge that. It's important. And it's okay if you're not. I also wanna emphasize that too. Some of you, it's okay if you're not. Some of you, this is straight up about like a pregnancy or something. Um, if you're not, that is okay. Work the soil and then you'll, you know, work, work yourself to get ready, right? Tell me about psychic abilities. Oh cards flying everywhere. Tell me about psychic abilities for Capricorn. <laughs> I did see a fish. I did see a fish is one of the things. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So that's coming on psychic abilities. The fish is a car is a card of flow. Be in the flow state. Go with the flow. Fully surrender. And I feel like this is saying just fully surrender to the reality of what you're feeling and sensing and what you're seeing about what you're trying to root, wanting to root again, deep and invest in strength and all the things and the state of your soil. You can get very real with yourself about this. I keep getting it something too about water and that came up in the Leo reading too. Again, a lot of these messages are, they're always gonna be collective. They're always gonna be collective. It's just, I do my best to get as detailed, as detailed about it as I can for you, okay? Something about the water. I keep getting pulled back to the womb. 
this I think this is gonna be your version, Cappy, of working through the mother wound, because that's just collective right now. Okay. Is your is your womb, your womb, literally and metaphorically speaking, the seat of how you create and root things, right? Does it have water behind it? Does it have emotion behind it? Does it have the flow of life behind it? Or is there is there fear there? Choking it out, drying it up. Is there too much emphasis placed on get through it, get to it, just do it? I didn't mean to rhyme, I swear. <laughs> it just happened. It just happened, I swear to God, I didn't mean to do that. Um, or is there too much of that literally drying up that feminine force of water? <clears throat> okay. Can I get a card for truth? Mm hmm And there it is. Yep. The truth. Elephant and crow. Elephant comes out when we're needing to break through blocks and obstacles and challenges. And crow is the card of magic and alchemy and transmutation. The truth, Cappies, there is something that's drying up your soil. That's that's eating up all the nutrients in your soil, which is you, your emotional being, your emotional well-being. Something wants to punch through. Something wants to be broken through to really nourish your soil. That will nourish the tree you're trying to root and plant. And this is you seeing that. Okay. I keep getting like most of you is ready, but there's a part of you that is not. Tell me about protection. Talk about protection for Capricorn. Mmm, unicorn, third eye energy. So we, we do have a lot of like references, like intuition, psychic awareness, and, and psychic gifts going on. So if that's part of this for you, especially if you're a mystic and this is about your work or something like that, then know that, that that component is confirmed here for you. But unicorn, third eye energy coming in with protection. Like I said, I feel like protection came in because there's this feeling of of not really totally ready or not really safe or I'm or I'm or I am actually I'm kind of scared. Okay. Um I feel like the unicorn is is coming here because it's like I don't want to say this. It's like you're aware of it, you just don't want to admit it. You're aware of this on a soul level about yourself. You're just not ready to admit it. But you'll be happy you admit it to yourself, trust me. On the bottom we have wolf. What role are you going to play? The wolf comes out as a pack animal, as a communal animal. Sometimes it's a student teacher energy for me as a reader. Um, but I'm getting this is about the role you're trying to play. Whatever it is that you're trying to like root, you're also taking on the role of maintaining that tree right and looking after that and are you ready to do that because once you take on that role there is no going back i think you also know that too you intuitively know that once i do this there's no going back and am i ready to never go back again whoo cappies am i ready to never go home again <laughs> it's not quite like that but oh actually maybe for some of you it is Maybe some of you are ready to like, I don't know, burn bridges with your family or something. I don't know. But it's like, once I do this, there's no going back. So I have to be truly ready. My soil has to be ready to really hold these roots. Mm-hmm. Underneath wolf, underneath wolf, we have lion. Lion is the master of fire. It's my king of wands energy, but it's actually the wisdom of timing. It's the wisdom of action. How do I maintain my reserves? to take action in the best way possible. Again, this whole sensitivity around timing and the balance of things and are you ready and is your soil good, right? Only you know the answer to that. Only do this if you're ready. Not trying to put pressure. I just gotta call it how I feel it and see it. Only do this if you're ready, okay? All right, Cappies, we're going to go ahead and uh, actually, no, let's pull some cards. Let's pull some tarot cards. Sorry. <laughs> Got carried away. I'm going to use the runic tarot and then I'll go into part two. I 
any other messages for Capricorn? Can I get a card for Hawk and Confidence? Uh huh. Wow. So we have your card coming out with the devil. Confidence, hawk, and the devil. Um, devil is not always a bad card. Sometimes I see devil as um, one who is balanced in all of their power, all of their magic, all of their essence and energy, including the shadow, right? Where you've made peace with it and you can you can harness it in a divine way. Is that you, Clydester? Clydester is behind me. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I do think that is part of that for you here, for a lot of you Cappies, but also, like I said, I feel like what Spirit is trying to get your attention to is understanding if you are truly emotionally ready to take on the responsibility of whatever this is. It's really the responsibility of your own creation and manifestation, but the role you're playing in maintaining whatever this tree is, there is no going back. And are you ready for it? Have you broken any um bad behaviors Ill, like like restrictive behaviors um self-destructive behaviors that could sabotage it and are you really truly seated in your power in a balanced healthy way in order to handle this tell me about fish and psychic abilities It's all in the timing. It's all in the timing. And it's better to do it at the perfect time is like really what I'm getting with this. And I know we have like a lot of sayings where it's like, so the opposite of that, like there's no perfect time. Whatever this is, the perfect time is when you are emotionally ready, fully, okay? Oh, not what I expected. So with fish and psychic abilities coming in here, surrendering to the truth and reality that you already know, right? Feeling your way through this, um, getting into you, getting into like fully into yourself to really navigate this. We do have the king of cups and the six of cups, the emotional maturity. What did I say? Thank you. They said the emotional maturity of the king of cups. Are you truly ready? Are you a king of cups? Here's the difference between the king of cups and the queen of cups. The Queen of Cups has learned how to emotionally hold herself, emotionally regulate and hold herself. Um, she can receive from others. She can even like hold space for others. She can, she is that healer. But the King of Cups can hold themselves and give and receive with ease emotionally and not be compromised. Very, very palpable emotional strength okay like a rock like an emotional rock are you ready for that some of you this is about a relationship and is it actually the right time is my soil ready is there so if this is about a relationship it's also both of your soils are the soils compatible <laughs> have we run an anal a soil analysis test you yeah, understand what I'm saying? But is their soil ready? And is is your soil ready? Okay. The Six of Cups being here. Six of Cups is like a soul contract energy. Could also be like nostalgia, past life, that sort of deal. I'm, I, I'm actually getting something about a contract. Like something you signed up for. Whatever this is that you're trying to root tree-wise, you signed up for this. You signed up to do this. Whatever this metaphorical tree is for you. But to do it, you have to be the King of Cups. To do it, you gotta be here. I, you guys know me. For those who've been with me for a long time, you know I don't talk like that. Or I'm like, and it's gotta be like this. It's gotta be like this. I usually stray away from talking like that because this is so general and I do like, I don't like to be so rigid, but like they're being so clear about this and they only do it like that for when it's for a good reason, you know? Tell me about crow, elephant, and the truth. I think I'm just going to call this work that soil. <laughs> Talking about crow, elephants, 
and shrews for cabbies. One more. Okay. Little crow, elephant, and tree. Ooh, and there it is. And then it is. For your soil to be ready, you got to break through this Five of Pentacles energy. That Five of Pentacles energy, I feel like, is representing this, like, starvation of the water in your soil. Again, this is all metaphorical, so hang in there. Um, five of Pentacles energy can be a financial issue, but it also comes down to scarcity mindset and survival and fear. Like, am I trying to root this tree out of a place of, I just want it rooted, so I'm going to root it, right? Or is it coming from a place of, ooh, I can feel it. It's the right time. I am ready. Everything is ready. Let's flow into this. Is it coming from that place? <laughs> Sorry. Or is it coming from a place of, I, I, I want to do this so I don't lose, or I want to do this because I don't want to miss it, or just like, it feels very much like just pushing things through is honestly what that feels like, but coming from a survival mode. Maybe even a little bit of worry about it not ever happening. It's fear. It's fear. No matter which way you cut it, it's fear. Moving on to protection and unicorn for Capricorn. Talking about protection and unicorn. Is that what I think it is? Uh huh. So remember what I said. It's like this is that awareness of the truth that I I'm doing this because I'm doing it out of survival, or I'm I'm pushing through because I'm actually a little scared. It's not because you feel super solid in it right? It's like, I'll do it so I don't lose it. Or I'll do it so, yeah, I keep getting it's like, so I don't lose is how that keeps coming through. So I don't suffer some kind of loss or some kind of bad consequence by like it not happening, but it really should be coming from that, right? It's interesting. Seven of cups, that is confusion, illusion, delusion, and fantasy. It's also options. It's also options. Um, can also be a little bit of like, mystical magical ha huh, like bliss elation energy which is also like really nice to get into but it feels like a smoke screen it feels like a smoke screen but again you got truth out here so you are going to blow through that smoke screen right and some of you it's like i'm going to do this because it's the right thing to do or i'm doing this because i'm pushing it through or it's going to protect me it's going to protect me is it is it if you're doing this to protect yourself and your soil is not ready and it falls apart, you're not going to be protected. Don't do it from this place. Okay. All right, Cappies, let's go ahead. Oh, let me look at the bottom. I was kind of curious. Four swords, take time. Take time until you are truly ready for whatever this is. Okay. All right, Cappies, let's go ahead and get into part two and we'll get a little deeper here. If this is where we depart or where you are departing, I hope you really enjoyed this reading and I hope you found it supportive and insightful for you and wherever you're at on your journey. Don't forget to check out the website and socials and all of that. And I will see you guys very soon. Namaste.